And then what about, uh, what do I think about the balance of this scenario? Um, I think, I think it might be interesting to play the scenario again, but using um, different tactics. As I said, if I had instead, if the French had led with the, I'd like to set it up where the British setup is, is, is exactly the same as it was, but the French instead lead with um, artillery so that means they're able to fire at the British infantry without the British infantry being able to fire back. Um, and uh, it means, of course, yes, it means that the French artillery are going to be fired at by the British artillery. Um, so, uh, yeah, we could see what would happen there. But at least the whole idea would be at least perhaps one British infantry unit might be eliminated from the, the northern road there. Um, before sending forward um, French infantry. Um, and then as far as the, the system in general, um, it yes, it is very simple. It, it does have some unusual things, unusual feel things in the sense of, um, for example, only one unit can uh, charge an enemy unit and only cavalry, of course, can charge an enemy unit. So it means that you cannot gang up in uh, for a melee. You can't attack a unit with two units. Uh, so that feels strange. And then also the notion that when the melee is resolved, um, the casualties can only come from the unit which is attacked. Uh, is well, I, I've never. I don't think I've ever played a set of war game rules before that worked that way. Um, I, I, I suppose I should look in the book and see uh, if uh, I imagine there are designer's notes. Uh, uh, he's he's a clever chap, and I'm sure that Neil Thomas has chosen to do it that way for a clever reason. Um, and, uh, yeah, I've, I, I think I would not be happy unless I added lots of little rules, which I've written down uh, for small evolutions that the soldiers can do in terms of moving around the battlefield because I don't like the idea of them pivoting in place to me it just it just looks completely wrong um, and I do like the idea of them being able to do subtle things even though it leads to more rules but it's very very simple subtle things like being able to move sideways uh, being able to incline being able to uh, step back this sort of thing otherwise you get into a lot of situations where the the troops are very much more restricted than real troops would be in real life. You get yourself into a log jam of um, troops um, not being able to maneuver. Um, and then uh, yes, thinking about things like adding you know little bits of little bits of chrome, I think it's called, where you might say, well, how about if we have some canister rules too? At the moment, you know the the range from the artillery makes no difference whatsoever. There are no ranges in this. Uh, you're either within range or you're not. So this situation here, where we're looking at the uh, the, the uh, chasseurs um, right in front of the two batteries there, you think they'd be shredded six ways from Sunday. So um, that might be interesting to add that. Uh, also, I've had some commanders on the battlefield just for a bit of colour. They, they haven't been used in the game in any way. But uh, that might be interesting to have a commander rule where, I don't know, he gives a plus one in some way or enables a unit to do something it wouldn't normally be able to do. Um, and, uh, yeah, so overall, though, the experience was interesting. The, the main thing I think I don't like is um, the fact that uh, when I've played this before, it does tend to be that, um, well, what have we got now? The French have got two units left in play and the British have got three um, so I was thinking I'd, uh, in the battle that I played before, I think it was like, as near as I can remember, I think it was like uh, they both started out with uh, six units and uh, one side had one unit left and one side had two units left. And it just looks funny when it gets down to sort of, you know, one man and a dog is all that's left standing. So one thing there was I was thinking, well, and I also think that six units is a small number of units. So if you beefed it up and you said something like eight units or ten units, uh, of course, that would lead to a longer game. Uh, it takes more time to move ten units. But of course, then the more units you have, the more tactical subtlety you can have because the more combinations of things you can think up to do, obviously. It's like if you think about DBA, you don't play DBA with six elements. You play it 
with 12 elements. So um, there's also the table size to consider. I'm, I'm using, you know, larger figures here, 20 millimeter figures on a fairly small table. So I've got to keep that in mind. But um, just to pause for a second here. 